are in Port Hedland. And as you can tell by the hard hat and the high vis, I have gone back to work. You like school today? Yep. We're leaving. Do we whinge about flies? Can you see them? Oh, that's... If you've been here, you might be surprised to see what it looks like when it's nearly empty. Welcome to a new episode. First one in a while. Mm. So, we left Port Hedland today and we have made it to Caratha, which is about two and a half k south. Two and a half k, two and a half hours south, I should say. I think it was two and a half k. Oh, totally. It was a really long road of nothing and it was like 43 degrees. So anyway, we've actually parked up at the free camp at the Shell Servo, which is a couple of k's out of town. It's not too bad, it's on a slab. Yeah. It's toilets and a shower and you've got the petrol station and the little convenience store there. So that will save us money so we can get bulk KFC tonight because Dion's been looking forward to KFC for since Darwin. Today we are just pretty much staying here for one night because we're short on time because we had to stay in Port Hedland a little bit longer for work. So we're going to be just doing a little drive around Caratha today. We're going to go up to the Dampier and have a look at the Red Dog statue. Yes. And then tomorrow we're heading off and I don't know where we're going. We'll work that out tonight. Best My way to travel. No plans at all. So this is the Red Dog Memorial. And it's, if you've ever seen the Red Dog movie, this is, this is the dog. This is where it was based on. Yeah. So there's a little information plaque. Oh my goodness, the flies here are terrible. So he was the Pilbara Wanderer. And it just said that he was owned until his owner left town. Hop out the way, Hudson. And then he met a bus driver called John. Went everywhere with him. Then John died and he just kind of like, wandered people random people gave him lifts and he just had a vet friend who helped him when he was sick and yeah, yeah just did that until he died by eating a bait hmm. so anyway yeah watch watch the red dog movie and if you're in the dampier you can come to the memorial all right so there's the port of dampier big ships like in port headland Take the next left onto the Esplanade. Oh, nice green grass. This is nice. So much tropical here. It is. In 400 meters, your destination will be on the right. It's been a while since I've seen green that grass. much green grass. foreshore there is a really nice playground and it's undercover and shady and the water is beautiful you could break someone off the water as well but the flies are relentless <laughs> and they just attack your eyeballs and your nose and your mouth and i just even dion wasn't dealing with it which is a lot for dion oh, So when we whinge about flies, can you see them? Oh no, the screen's really oh, small. Yeah. Can you see them crawling? Oh my god, it's so gross. Yeah. It was worse yesterday when we were actually rock crawling. We were out actually in the scrubland. There are a lot thicker out there. Why does no one talk about this? This is why you don't come to WA out of season. It's the flies. <laughs> Anything from September onwards or November? Is, uh, yeah, just fly season and they come in thick. It's horrible. <laughs> Let's go.
Where are we? Uh, 40 mile beach. Yep, and we're filming on my phone because we are not going back to the car. No. no. There are so many flies. So there's a beautiful beach at our window. All right, lovely. But look at the flies. Look at them. And every time we go outside, you're fighting the flies that are just accumulating on you. <laughs> There's people that are down there sitting in a rooftop tent. They're just gone. Up and gone. Yeah. And they're flying it's on. So we're trying to decide whether we stay, basically. After um, dark, I think it would be nice. But then you miss out on all the days. Because it's worth just sitting here looking at the beach. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's, there's more and more flies, like. Oh my goodness. But the view is so nice. Except the flies. We are at the RAC Caravan Park and from what we've heard it's really hard to get a book in here during um, high season. We're not here in high season but uh, if you've been here you might be surprised to see what it looks like when it's nearly empty. to get away from all these flies once we get lower down the west coast. And fun? Today we are going to the Discovery Center. So there's an aquarium in there and bits and pieces. It's very highly rated for children. So we'll see if that's any good. And then tonight we have a turtle tour booked. So I just booked it through the visitor center. I think it was like $10 per adult. Hudson was free. And they're going to take us out to see the turtles come up and lay the eggs tonight and teach us how to be able to watch this safely on our own so they don't cause the turtles any stress. So that's going to be really cool and I am looking forward to that. See what happens. Do they run away? Okay. This is a school bus. Yeah. I can't reach the paddles. Might need to grow a little bit. You get older, you get longer legs. And you've got to reach the paddles. I did not know that. that was upside down jellyfish. That's awesome.
color fins you want him to have? Here. Yeah. And what, here and here. Yeah, what color should they be? Mm. I'll pick green. Oh, cool. What color tail are you going to have? Ooh, cool. Red. Alright, you're going to give him any decorations? Done? Let's, let's go see him. Oh, there he is. Where? He's over here, getting released. Look, here he is. There's Hudson's little fishy. And there's your other fishy. Is that cool? Yeah, I'm gonna make another one. Christmas carols. Yeah, we went to Christmas carols. 